And then the Garden of Eden was this beautiful place of just paradise. I don't know how you think of paradise, how you've experienced joy in your life, but just your happiest thoughts, whatever they are, think of that when you think of the Garden of Eden because that's what it's like to be with God. And that's what the Garden of Eden was. They, Adam and Eve, they saw God face to face. They were with Him. They experienced Him fully. He was fully there. His awesome presence was fully there. And what happened was when they sinned, um, when they, they were basically unfaithful to God, like you'd be unfaithful in a relationship. Um, and and uh, it's, it's pretty bad, too. We talked about idolatry for some of you. And um, I, want, I thought of a, an interesting metaphor related to that, um, if you guys remember last time. Uh, idolatry is, in a way, it's like cheating on God. Like, the, if you have a relationship between a man and a woman, right? Marriage. And then, say, uh, say you're married to your spouse, wherever it is. The, the uh, girl guy in your dreams. And um, you're, you have this relationship, and it's, it's perfect, and it's beautiful, but all of a sudden, you're, they, they have an affair. But not only do they have an affair, but it's right in front of your face. Like you're, you're standing right there watching it happen, everything, vividly, like right there in front of your face. And they totally just blow you off right there. And that's kind of what happened with, with, um, with God, is we just kind of blew God off in the beginning. The purpose of Israel, also I forgot to say, was when God took them out of Egypt, he wanted them to be what's called a priest to the nations. So what that means is, is that what a priest does, I think I talked about this last time, but I don't know who was there, <laughs> is he, he kind of acts as an intermediary. He comes between, like say, say two friends have a fight, and you have somebody who's trying to make peace between them. That's kind of what the idea of priest, except for with God and man. So he comes between God, the priest, and has a relationship with God, and then he tries to go and have a relationship with the people and bring God and the people back together. That's kind of what a priest is about, in a way. <laughs> but, um, so Israel was supposed to be that priest. They were supposed to take the rest of the world, be a light to the rest of the world, and connect God back with his people. That was the goal of Israel. But they didn't do that. Israel followed everybody else. Instead of following God like they were supposed to, they followed everybody else. So they became just as bad as everybody else was. And they broke the law. They didn't Torah. They didn't point to God. So um, they were split in half, and God gave them to other nations. The most important question you will ever answer, in my opinion, is who is God? Because your view of God affects everything else. And we were made to have a relationship with Him in that, like I said, we're supposed to be His representatives. We're supposed to be with Him and mirror who He is, like a mirror, reflect who He is on everything else. And that just makes everything perfect the way it was supposed to be. So that's what God's trying to do in all the whole Bible story. Sin means literally to miss the mark, like you're shooting at a target. And the target is who God is, his character. We are made to be God's representatives, to reflect him, to be like that mirror. So when we don't do that, we fail to fulfill our purpose, because our purpose is to reflect who God is. So that's what sin means. I, I've heard it said, you know, sin is not meeting God's holy standard. Well, that's fine, and that's true, but then I feel like I'm working for a taskmaster. I mean, it's not just like God's like, oh, shame on you, you know, you're not following my, my list of things for you to do. No, God wants us to be like Him. And what that essentially means is being humble, we talked about, because that's why Jesus came as He did. God humbled Himself to the form of one of us. That would be like if I transformed myself into a cockroach and just went down and went to the cockroaches and started like trying to get these cockroaches to follow me like back to a human basically. That's so think of that. You can roast yourself. That's going to yeah. back to you. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the idea. That's, that's how big the deal it is. 
So God wants us to be humble. And essentially what that means is to give all to others, to give ourselves to others, just loving them, doing stuff, serving others, rather than thinking of ourselves first, because that's what we're inclined to do. That's what the sin nature is when we talk about that, is what can I do for me and how can I benefit myself? That's what it starts at. And then from there, that's where you get everything else, all the other sin. So sin means to miss the mark of who God is. So Jesus came to fix that so that we would meet the mark. Because he met the mark, so he wanted us to follow him so that we meet the mark too and fulfill our purpose. 